Hello, folks, and welcome back to Picks and Predictions at Dino's Draft House. Hope you had a good week. I know I didn't as a Bengals fan, but okay, I guess. I did go 11-5 and five for all my picks from last week, though, so let's see if I can keep that going. Let's get into it. On Thursday, we've got the Bills versus the Fins, one of the best divisional matchups for the entire 2024 season. That is, of course, except... The Bills versus the Finns, which is another great matchup for the 2024 season. The Finns in Buffalo. Down to the last week last year for the division and the second seed. Both teams in the playoffs. Neither in the championship game. Well, this one will be a bloodbath. And I think it's going to come down to a coin flip, if I'm honest. So, ooh. Sorry, Buffalo. Looks like Miami has it this time. Next up, we have the 49ers versus the Vikings. What an impressive beatdown on the Jets the 49ers just had. 401 total yards to 266. A 32-19 game with one of the touchdowns from the Jets scored in garbage time. Yep, put Aaron Rodgers in his place. He's in New Jersey now, a place that's always full of disappointment. But we aren't talking about the dual props here. We're talking about the Vikings. And they looked okay, I guess. The 49ers looked as dominant as last year and just effortless. I'm giving this to the 49ers, guys. Next up, we have the Seahawks versus the Pats. And I had to watch the Pats beat up on my Bengals, who I do think is a good team. Truly. And the Seahawks did beat up on the Broncos, a team that I think is bad. Truly. Gonna go with, fuck the Pats, because I'm totally a homer, and they really don't look that good this year. I don't care what they did to my Bengals. The Seahawks win. Giants versus the Gammies. Crap fest for week two. Here we go. This game is going to suck. Bam, 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 bam. Just gonna go with the Giants on this one. It's anyone's guess, though, so, yeah. Chargers versus the Panthers, a matchup needing less talking points than the last. Chargers. Saints versus the Boys of Cow Varieties. The Saints went 47 to 10 on those poor Panthers. And even if the Panthers suck, that is still impressive. Three times the rushing yards, just shy of double the total yards. Seven yards off to be exact. Zero for zero on fourth down efficiency because they didn't need fourth downs, guys. Seriously, impressive. The boys got 33 on a top-rated D, though, and a much better opponent. The Browns looked awful out there, just floundering. Rushing yards almost even, and without Chubb, that is pretty good. Actually, all the yards were very close to even for both teams with the Cowboys and the Browns. Same amount of first downs, too. What even happened? Even the time of possession was within two minutes. One punt off from each team? Penalties the same? No fumbles? Only two interceptions against the Browns? I watched this, and it looked like the boys kicked ass. But they should have a lot better stats. I'm going to go with the Saints this week. Colts and the Packers. Got to be honest, the Packers will be without love. And being the second week after a heartbreak, yep, I'm going to have to go with the Colts. They aren't impressive to me, but they kept in line with the Texans. And though divisional games are built different, I just don't think the Packers will recover from last week this soon. Long term, they're going to be fine. But Colts win for now. Browns, the Jaguars. The Jags got way out past from the Finns. And the Browns defense is good. The stats for the Browns and boys are very close overall. Bad offense and big moments from the Browns really screwed them. Are the Jags offense enough to overcome the big Browns D? I don't know. But I do think the Browns offense with Deshaun and without Chubb is bad enough to throw enough points away. The Jags will win it. Jets Titans. Seriously, did you watch the Jets take a shit in Santa Clara? And did you watch the Titans be bested by the Bears? Shit. Another coin toss. Let's go. Ooh, well, Titans, you're going to get this one. Bucks at the Lions. The Bucks may have just beaten the commies handedly, but I think the Pirates have always had an upper hand on the commies. All for one and all for, wait a minute, I think the Pirates are commies. 
Was that an inside job? Holy shit, I think we have a conspiracy here, folks. And they face the lions. Lions live in a pride, and the lady lions do the hunting. Pirates would never stand for a lady doing things. Neither would commies. These pirate motherfuckers might be out for blood, but also probably drunk enough to think they can take on a lion, which they can't. The lions win. Raiders at Ravens. The Ravens did lose this week, but it was to the chefs. And like many other teams, like the Bills, the Ravens just can't seem to beat them. But don't fret. The Ravens are still good as shit and did hold their own till the very last seconds. One might say a toe away from victory. Maybe. They would still have to pull off the two point that Harbaugh was calling for to do so, though. And they really still did have a chance to lose anyways. Either way, I don't think the Raiders are even close to as good as the Ravens, so I'll have the Ravens winning. I just got to this point and it looks like I skipped over the Rams and Cardinals. And everyone here knows how I feel about the Cardinals. Don't fucking like them. So I'm just going to I'm gonna pick the Rams. So there we go, Rams. Bengals versus the Chiefs. A showdown everyone needs to see. The Chiefs and the Bengals are always a spectacular spectacle. A team you can never count out either at any point. Well... Unless it's the end of the game and the clock needs to be gobbled to win. Zach Taylor is just terrible at clock management when a game is close. Loves to call real head scratchers sometimes. However, the Bengals do seem to be the kryptonite to the Chiefs. With the Zebras on the Chiefs' side usually, it does give them an edge. <clears throat> Burrow did seem to have some sort of hand irritation going on during our week one. However... The reason we lost seemed to have little to do with his hand and his play and more to do with the sporting cats kind of fucking everything up. I'll have to give this one to the Bengals as I need to stick with tradition. I don't even care if the Swifties come for me. Steelers versus the Broncos. The shout out of the Wilsons. Kind of. One Wilson's not playing and it actually looks like neither Wilson will likely be playing. Well, one might be playing. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. It's Bo Nix versus Wilson, maybe. Uh, neither should be, to be fair, like neither one should, neither Wilson should be playing. The Wil Bo Wil Wilson's throwing the ball bad. It's hard to ever count out the Steelers, though. I mean, they just won with 18 points and kicks alone. And maybe they will all season because with Wilson and Fields, who knows? Maybe, you know, touchdowns aren't necessarily their forte. And, I mean, they're only quarterbacks. You can't expect them to be, like, good at the touchdowns. And the Broncos are at a point where they need to get a new rookie quarterback up to speed and maybe build around them in the future. So, though it's tempting, I'm going to have to give this one to fuck the Steelers. The Broncos win. Bears versus the Texans. Bears looking okay, I guess, last week, beating up on, well, the Titans. Not really the best team. And by beat up, I mean a, a one-score game and, you know, they had to come back from behind. But I really just can't get behind the Bears with their track, re track record over the past several years. And the Texans are just good. No other way to put it. Ugh. Texans will win this one. Falcons versus the Eagles. The Falcons are not awesome. They lost to a bad Steelers team without any touchdowns against them. Though, it does seem many teams like to lose to a bad Steelers team. They've been there, done that. Like, even when they were good, they were, were they actually good or just the luckiest team ever? I'll go with luck since I fucking hate them. Either way, the Falcons are bad and the Eagles look to be about the same as last year, which was very good during the regular season. So they'll fall apart eventually, but like I said last week, you can't fall apart if you don't start out strong. The Eagles take it. Thank you for joining us for Week 2 Picks. And if you liked it, subscribe. And if you didn't, subscribe anyways. We'll be back next week with another Picks and a new skit every week. Come and check it out. Okay, bye.